Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, my lovely Pisces. This is going to be your daily reading for your general energies and also for your love energies, Pisces. This is also going to be a very detailed reading for you all for the love energies. Like for the love part, I'm going to make it very detailed. Like in the sense, I'm going to explain to you all the energies, okay, for your if you are in this committed relationships then a separate reading for you all if you are in this single energy and you're waiting for this new person then again the separate energy of you people and for the other group of you who are in the separation state but you really feel you have this person who you feel special with okay so that's what i feel here so let's see what's coming up guys For your general energies first, Pisces, and then we will be moving on to those three groups, okay? We have the harmony. Check your emotions. Okay, so with these two cards, I feel here that you are going to want to stay in that harmonious situation okay if something is going wrong or something you don't feel is going right in your environment you just don't don't want to get that sick energy you don't want that sick energy you feel like you tr you will try your best to come out of that situation no matter what okay you understand what i'm saying like you guys don't want to be in that sick energy. You don't want to be in that situation where you are sad or you are angry or you don't want to make anyone angry at the same time. So what you will actually do today is that Pisces, you will like if you feel like this person is trying to fight with you or if you feel like someone is like offending you, what you will do is not you will not fight with this person back instead. You will apologize even though the mistake is not yours so that's going to be the energy of you today okay you're going to just apologize you're going to just note things right and you're just going to be this person who's always very good with everyone and who's really talkative and who's really this person who thinks a lot about everything okay before even making a decision that's what I see here for you all, guys. With the harmony and with the check your emotions, that's the energy that I get. You might be also very spiritual in nature, or you a person maybe. I see someone here, whether it's you or your person, I'm not so sure, but someone is really spiritual, okay? With the check your emotions again, you might find yourself in a situation where you're very emotional. You might even cry today. I don't know why, but maybe because something sad is going to happen. I'm really sorry for saying this, but that might be true. Or something really disappointing happened or is going to happen. It might not be too disappointing. It might be a little bit disappointing, but at that moment, you might feel so disappointed with how your life is okay but then this disappointment will reduce because you tend to see what else is there in life and you you tend to see that there are so many things that you are happy about you can be happy about instead of being disappointed about some things like that okay you will just understand and you'll come after that disappointment so you don't have to worry but i just have to say that okay even though it's is something negative i'm really sorry i could say it okay let's see what's coming up for your love energies guys i see here a lot of people are back bitching about you it might be even your person okay they kind of like talking about you to others they kind of like making fun of you okay i don't know why your person is doing this but today the energy of your person may be wrecked really funny they don't know why they're acting this way they're kind of really going nuts okay that's what i can see here because the prince of cups and the eight of wands your person is a mixture of air and water that is really deadly to be honest because 
air is like fun and emotions they're playing with emotions so today you might find your person playing with emotions or they were playing with emotions before but right now what they're doing is that they want they actually want to give you a message they will be continuously talking to you about something or the other and if you're in this committed relationship you can find that this person is really funny the way they talk to you today is just going to be so cheerful and all of that if you are in the separation state with this person if you feel like they are your twin flame or soulmate i see the same thing here they're going to spy on you they're going to talk about you to their friends they're going to be very expressive with their emotions or whatever they do they're going to be very expressive okay that's what i see here they're not only going to express how much they love you to only you but also to their friends like they're going to boast about you to their friends they're going to be like this person is amazing uh, he or she is a pisces i kind of like them they're going to like talk about you to their friends that's what i see here with the eight of wands and with the mutable water again i see here that with the dolphins it's kind of fun okay your person wants that fun energy they will do whatever it takes to uh, like have fun and they just don't want to be sick they don't want to be like this boring person who you uh, don't like the text they feel like if they uh, tell you something they can cheer up the conversation and have this amazing new start with you and that's what they're looking forward to okay so if you uh, if you are in this separation state with your person they really want to give you a message and when they give you this message guys it's going to be kind of funny and it's going to be really nice it's going to be like cheering you up the message will instantly cheer you up okay that's what i see here because the way they text the way they talk whether whether it's a letter or a message or they calling you or some kind of communication is coming your way and that is going to be really like maybe kind of flirting maybe it's not even flirting it's just like maybe it's very funny okay it'll make you laugh in a second like when you read it it'll make you laugh you'll feel like really happy getting that message from that person you'll just feel that enthusiastic vibe once you get the message or that's the energy that i get for you here guys so that's what i see here for you my lovely pisces let's just also find out what's coming up for the messages this person has for you what is the message Okay. For those of you who are in this committed relationship, this is a message for you all. For those of you who are in the separation state, the message for you all. And those of you who are in this single energy and who you're like uh, wanting to pursue a new person, this is the message for you all. And also Pisces, like today for my single Pisces, if you like if you're like on social media and if you want to talk to someone or something today the today is a very good day because people around you will be funny and the people you meet will be funny or you feel like a very enthusiastic energy while talking to these people so it's kind of like it will trigger your memories okay so this person will trigger your memories like it may be like all you've already had this person in your life it may be like someone like they'll remind you of your grandmother or they'll remind you of someone who you've known for a long time or something like that you're just going to have this new beginning with this person oh that's what i see here so let's get on with the messages so the message from your person if you are in this committed relationship with them but you felt like they are uh, not able to express their emotions well or something like that and if you're here in this reading this is the thing for you all guys we have the nine of pentacles your person will give you whatever you ask them for like for example if you ask them that you want a diamond necklace or you want something expensive your person will give you that okay your person will do anything to satisfy you they will help you they will buy you things 
they will do whatever it takes to make you feel safe and make you feel like you deserve them okay so this person also like maybe someone who is kind of always giving you gifts and who is not giving you emotions and you might feel a little dull because of that but that's how this person satisfies their loved ones okay they tend to give gifts so that's how they generally they don't know how to give emotions maybe because of their childhood traumas but this is how this person is guys if you cannot accept them the way they are then i think you should move on okay but they may change when once you express what you like and what you don't like about them but that's what i have for you here this person is ready to give you anything and that's what they want to tell you okay for those of you who are in this separation state the message from your person guys we have the seven of wands which states like this person is right now concentrating on their dreams i think for some of you this person likes music they're going to be always like listening to music or doing something that is related to music i see here they're working on their dreams they're doing whatever they like to do right now they're not really concentrating on others they're not concentrating they're not simply they're not even dating anyone that's what i see here they're not with anyone so you can be happy with that energy this person is really not with anyone guys they're single they know how to lead their life they just are happy with however their life is turning out to be and that's what i get for you here okay so those of you who are in this single energy and if you feel like you need any i mean do you have any future with any love situation or are you going to stay single for the next two or three days let's just find out okay we have the three of wands so with the three of wands you guys actually are spying on someone or someone is actually spying on you or someone has a deep crush on you and they really want to come to you but before that they are going to really think okay they want to come towards you they want to make this relationship happen but they're going to really think before anything guys that's what i get for you here this person is really thinking a lot before they make a correct decision in their love life okay that's why they're spying on you because maybe they had a lot of sad energy or they maybe had a lot of failures or a lot of sick energy in the love situation so that's why this person is not ready for a relationship right now they're kind of spying on you maybe they were spying on you for weeks or months and you never even knew it so that's the message from the universe for you guys this person is kind of spying on you and they want to come and give you this love but then they kind of hesitant i hope you get that energy so this is all i see for you here guys thank you all so much for watching My lovely Pisces, I hope this reading really resonated with you all. If it did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Your lucky color for today, Pisces, is red, and your lucky crystal for today is quartz. Bye, I see you all tomorrow. guys welcome back to my channel my lovelies so this is just going to be another pick a card reading of what messages this person has for you guys how are this person's feelings for you today so this is a reading if if this is like a timeless reading you can watch it even like any time it doesn't uh, it's so specified for only today but the daily reading is not like that it is not specified for only today so this reading is just a general reading so even if you come across this reading after this after i post this you can still watch it and it will still resonate with you guys and it will also help you on your spiritual journey especially for those who are in a twin flame or a soulmate connection my goal is to always help you all 
become the greatest version of yourselves and to give hope into the situation where you feel hopeless because we all need to have the sense of hope and my channel will definitely help you to encourage yourselves on your spiritual journey it will keep you on track make sure that you're not distracted and i really hope my channel really helps you all in some of the other way so let's just start off the reading guys because that is the main aim of my channel to kind of help you all on your spiritual journey so i'll just start off the reading now how does this person think about you how do they feel about you so these feelings this person might have uh, might not have expressed these feelings to you but this is what this person feels deep down inside for you okay so let us just start off i will be just using the right away deck as usual because this is the deck i use when i need to get powerful messages powerful energies and today i feel this is a day where i need some powerful messages okay guys so let us see we have the world card we also have the five of swords and we have the seven of swords so yes this is just going to be a general reading and after this i will take three piles so you can choose one from this and that is going to be your pile pile number one pile number two and pile number three make sure to choose one from this okay or you can also choose this and this together or you could choose that and that together so you can choose more than one pile you can choose one pile okay i will be keeping this card and i will be taking some more cards for clarification for reference so it's just not going to be one card reading but please choose um one from these three piles and i will see you all okay so pile number one is the world card pile number two is the five of one swords in reverse and the pile number three is the seven of swords upright so please go ahead and choose a pile and see you all with pile number one and guys please if um if you're watching this please make sure to uh link i mean put the timestamps of the piles in the this i mean in the comments down or i will link it in the description box below you can go check that out but if it's not in the description box below then definitely one of my subscribers uh will have link i mean would have linked to um, timestamps in the comments and you can go check that out so now i'll just start over with pile number one So we have the world card guys and yes yeah, so with this card the world card is all about completion it is all about a cycle being completed this is all about seeing from a different perspective seeing from a different point of view and the world card can also mean in sometimes it can also mean a spiritual growth so what i can see with the world card here guys is that if you know that this person is your twin flame or a soulmate this cycle w is going to be complete soon okay for example like this person is going to come towards you your relationship is going to be whole again it is going to be complete again and you can completely trust this person uh, with your life and with your heart i can definitely see here that with this world card there is the ace of cups card i mean lying around here so i will just pick it up because i looked at it so definitely this person is going to come towards you with the ace of cups they're going to give you the love that you always wanted if some of you are waiting on this person this is the time that they're going to show up in your life this is the time that they are going to come towards you and give you all that love to you guys okay yes i can also see here that some of you uh, were even carrying this person's child or you even did an abortion or something like that i i'm not so sure i'm really sorry but that is what i'm getting here if it doesn't resonate it's fine maybe it's not for you so someone um i can see that some of my sub subscribers or some of you watching this reading really sacrificed a lot for this person sacrificed a motherly position for this person but you need to understand that everything will is happening for a reason everything happened for a reason okay 
uh, things that happen in your life happened to make this union more stronger, happen to make this relationship more stronger. And you just have to believe that even if this is like the hardest thing for you to believe, even though it is so impossible for you to believe, just at least try to believe, guys, and you will see that everything is going according to your expectations, okay? And this is all I can see here. For those who chose this pile, I hope you got a lovely message today and I hope it really makes you happy and it also helped you in some or the other way. And today all you need to do is you need to have hope, you need to have trust. In this connection, I think you, if someone, like if you're watching this reading and if you've lost the trust that you have in this relationship or you have on this person and you feel like this is impossible for you to stay with this person, it's impossible for you to build trust on this person, don't worry guys, this is coming to an end. You don't have to worry anymore. This is uh, going to end. This separation is going to end. There is going to be, the cycle is going to be complete in the sense this person is going to come towards you with a lot of love okay or this for some of you i can also see here that this relationship can teach you self-love so ace of cups doesn't really mean always someone giving the love it can also mean self-love it can also be love for oneself love of uh, being with others so that has so many other meanings too so this can also mean that so that is all i can see here for you guys for pile number one now let us move on to pile number two and if this reading really helped, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and comment. And this will really help me to grow my channel and help all the beautiful souls out there. So, yes, guys, see you all tomorrow, pile number one. So, just you chose the pile number two. So the pile number two, what I can see here with a pile number two, we have the five of swords in reverse. So the five of swords, especially when it comes upright, it means someone defeated you, they feel defeated, they feel like something is being taken away from them forcefully, or something has um, been done not in a good way okay so there is no justice here in this situation something has been taken away from you but not in a good way not um like a battle won with a lot of deceit it is not won in the right way so that is the uh message here that i have for you guys okay so this person definitely feels what they did is wrong and they have some kind of a feeling in their heart that they are wrong and definitely i can see here that or oh, you are just viewing the situation like this maybe you just need to change your perspective or there's something um there is a lot of deceit energy here but then this person is covering up the deceit trying to pretend as if nothing happened they're trying to pretend as if like they were right they did the right thing I mean, this person did a lot of mistakes. They did like completely, they just shattered everything. And I don't know, guys, with the five of swords, this person just ruined everything. But then they cannot accept the fact that they ruined it, okay? And maybe because they feel too guilty, they feel too annoyed with themselves, they're just trying to forget the fact that they did it. So they're not accepting that they did it. So that is the main energy that I can see here with the five of swords. So this person has still not accepted their mistake. Maybe they did something deceitful to you. They did something that they shouldn't do, but then they're not in a situation to accept it completely because maybe Maybe they're scared maybe they're scared to face the truth there are a lot of things blocking this person's mindset there are a lot of things just coming in between this person they're not able to understand things completely okay so i will just pick out some more cards guys even i can see here that they are very very confused with the situation they don't know if you are meant to be or not meant to be we have the hierophant so this makes this person talk to people around them so you can see that this person is very very confused because of the situation they're not even able to accept their own mistakes which uh, kind of like brings them to this weird situation and now i can see here after this that this person is really broken guys they're broken 
they're not sure what they are supposed to do i can see here that they're speaking to people about this they're talking about this connection to people or they're continuously like expressing the feelings because they don't know what they're supposed to do right now so they're thinking like maybe if i'm expressing my feelings maybe if i'm talking to people maybe if i'm saying how i feel maybe i will not feel that anymore so all this person's talking about is how amazing they are how uh, good they were so again they're not accepting the truth so you need to make sure if you really love this person if you really want this person back in the, your lives they need to accept the truth guys otherwise this is never going to happen for, for a few of you if you are in a twin flame or a soulmate connection this person might be very very scared of the intensity of this connection and they're not even accepting that this is a twin flame or a soulmate connection and in that case all this person has to do is they need to accept the truth they need to accept what they actually have brought forward what they've actually done what this actually is okay because even when they talk to people i don't see the truth coming out it's more of a very immature energy they're talking to people good about themselves as if they didn't do any mistake because they want to feel good about themselves so that is not good again so this person's just kind of like believing the lies and living in the lies and saying people lies about themselves and making sure that everyone believes the lies so that is what this person's doing and i hope like this situation ends soon for you guys once this person accepts that you are their twin flame you are their soulmate and once they are wholeheartedly accepting their mistakes accepting their lies accepting what they did this person definitely will come towards you but till then i don't know guys it is going to take a while it is not going to happen overnight so please don't think like as soon as you see the reading please don't keep waiting for this person try to grow on your part if you chose a pile number one i would have told that this person will come like tomorrow or today even but i don't see that kind of situation for you guys but if you chose a pile number one that also then you can probably take that as your answer okay so if you chose a pile number one and two and if you're kind of confused what is right then maybe this person will come soon because the pile number one energy was very very strong and that is the major energy that i'm getting here with a hierophant guys and with the page of wands so thank you all so much for all of your support and if you really feel like this reading helped you all make sure to like comment and subscribe to my channel but be beware of this person don't let them back in if they are not going to apologize and accept their mistakes because it is just going to make this relationship more complicated it's just going to make you feel more weird so yes guys i hope you understand what i'm trying to say so thank you all so much my lovelies bye guys see you all tomorrow and if you really like this reading make sure to give this video a thumbs up and if it helped you comment down below and please let me know i will reply to each and every comment and i would love to read your comments uh so that i know if my readings are good enough or i have to improve or anything that you want to say please make sure to comment down below and let me know guys i will be really happy to read them and to answer you all and to actually find out if my reading really help you all okay so bye guys i'll see you all tomorrow so for those of you who chose the pile number three with the seven of swords so the seven of swords uh generally to be honest uh in the traditional meaning as well as in the intuitive meaning it is a thief card in traditional meaning of tarot cards the seven of swords is a thief card someone taking something and running away this is a like a thief card okay so uh you when this card comes up it means that you might lose something or you might like 
uh, get rid of something but maybe something even negative okay so this can also be viewed in a positive way and also negative way something negative will go out of your life soon or someone might steal your things or you might lose your things it can have negative as well as positive meanings uh, but in this reading i'm going to do an intuitive message and according to me when this card comes up that too for a love message I see this as this person wanting something from you. So this is not unconditional love. If you chose this third pile number three, I'm really very, very sorry for uh, giving you uh, something negative in the beginning. But I have to tell you all to help you in your journey, guys. That is the main aim of my channel. I need to do it. So this person might be using you for a few of you they might want something from you they might uh, feel like you have something that they don't have or they might just feel you are a unique soul and they might like that about you so something uh, they want something from you they want to learn something from you uh, maybe you are a rich person or they want your money or you are uh, or maybe you are a person with a good heart and they want to use that they want to use that to kind of like physically satisfy them or something that this person is aiming and they want it from you okay and once they get what they want they're going to run away so just be aware of this energy okay to uh, if you really like this person if you fall in love with this person doesn't mean you have to give everything to this person okay it's nothing like they propose to you and your marriage is tomorrow to give this person everything that you have right so this is a time that you need to think guys please don't read act i mean please don't act with this person without thinking because they're going to take it as an advantage okay if you want this person to realize their mistake and if you want this person to completely surrender to you to, to completely come towards you then this is what you must do just just don't give in if this person uh, simply keeps asking you something, don't give it to them easily, okay? If this person wants you to stay with them, don't do that easily, okay? This is going to really make this person understand how um, how tough you are to win and they need to put in effort to win you, okay? And guys, trust me, when someone puts in effort to win you, they are going to eventually start liking you. They're eventually going to have some respect on you. They're going to start liking you. So this is what you must do with this person. If you're dealing with such a person in your life and if you have, like, if you kind of have red flags or hints or the spirit guides or angels just telling you that, oh my God, this is not good. This person is just not good. Then this is the main thing that you must do, guys. Okay. You can take this as a relationship advice. Or you can take this as a tarot reader. I mean, as uh, me as a tarot reader and giving you a suggestion on how you must go about in this situation. But yes, please understand. Don't give in easily into this person. Don't give in easily into this relationship. If they're asking for something, make sure to keep like like at least five to six conditions and even if like they're okay with all of these conditions just think about um your life in another two or three years if you're okay to go on with this uh, kind of a behavior if you're okay with this person if you want to have fun then it's fine but if you're looking for something strong if you're looking for something more stable and if this person is not um is not that strong stable kind of a person you're kind of realizing it but then you deeply love them then this is the message guys please make sure to not give in easily into this connection otherwise they're just going to use you and when they have everything they're just going to go away they're just going to run away because that is what this card means okay i will just pick out a few more cards in case if i've missed out any energies Yes, we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Definitely means that this is not the right time. And yes, this person definitely wants fun. They don't want a relationship that is committed. And they don't want this relationship that is like forever. So if you've developed some kind of idea on this person that they will kind of have this relationship forever, they will want to have this union forever with you, I don't think so. They don't want anything that is forever. They don't want a commitment right now, okay? Maybe this person just wants some um, 
fun and they might like they might back away after some time after they get what they will have after they finally destroy you it's nothing like destroy some people are definitely the guys like that i'm just saying the truth and some people are definitely like that okay i wouldn't say everyone in your life will destroy you but no some people are definitely like that and personally in my life i have certain people who've done that to me and yes to be honest i can see the similar energy here i can feel the similar energy here so it just my humble request to not give in into this relationship soon make them wait make them uh, understand that you are not easy to win and you will see that when someone tries hard to win you they will definitely fall in deeply love with you guys i'm so sure about that so make sure to make this play some games with this person so that they kind of like fall in love deeply with you like you fall in like you fell in love with them and yes this relationship will be a complete success so bye guys see you all tomorrow my lovelies bye